Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how to measure audio in the digital domain. So here I've got a song in Logic Pro 10, and I've got a level meter here. And let's quickly measure a portion of this song using this meter. Lighting spasms down my spine. Okay, so as you can see here, we have two different types of readings for the volume of the signal. So if I were to say to someone, the volume of this song or the loudness of this song is, I'd have to choose which of the two or more to use to quantify the loudness of this piece of music. So the two different types of value that we have here are peak and RMS. The peak refers to the highest amplitude value of the waveform. So if I close this for just a moment, and I close the mixer, and I'm just going to double click on the audio file. What I'm going to do is just zoom in on here. Zoom right in until we can start to see the waveform. Okay, if I was measuring from here to here, whatever this value is up here, the very top of this waveform, that would be the peak value. So the peak is the very highest amplitude value of the waveform. However, the RMS, which stands for root mean square, refers more to the power or the loudness of the waveform over a given period of time. This would be the peak value and a value representing this entire waveform, or at least a portion of this entire waveform, would represent the RMS. RMS correlates more with how we hear. A difference in RMS is much easier to perceive than a difference in peak or a difference in amplitude. A really high peak value could happen in this waveform. It could be way up here, way beyond any of the other values below it, but it could easily go unnoticed. However, if this entire cycle here, or these two cycles, if they were to increase by 20 decibels, you would probably most likely notice them. When we listen, when we hear, we don't hear the peak amplitude values. We hear the power of an entire waveform, the intensity of that waveform as a whole. RMS is used to represent that inside the digital system and in analog systems as well. So when we are comparing loudness between one song or one audio clip to another, the peak value doesn't really tell us anything. It just tells us what the highest amplitude value of the signal is. But if you balance two peak signals together, so if you've got one song and another song, and then you peak normalize both of them so they have the exact same peak value, the difference in loudness can vary drastically. However, if you were to normalize them by RMS, the difference in loudness will probably be much smaller than that of peak normalizing. Generally, the higher the RMS value, of a given audio clip or a given signal, the higher the loudness. However, there are many variables in that which could mean that two audio clips of the same RMS could still vary in loudness. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.